All right, guys. So, all right. What I was going to get into, the next part, is why I couldn't be a woman. And this is basically a response to Black Chicasso. Thank you, Greg, for posting this because um, I've seen Biko Locks 89's response, and I definitely concur with him on some. Uh, is this? And I definitely concur with him on some of the points he made. As far as like periods and stuff like that, child, I couldn't deal with it. But I couldn't deal with the painful, like the physical aspects of it. But I feel like we we do deal with the emotional. Like I know I'll be up and down and up and down and up and down. <sighs> you feel me? But I couldn't be a woman because I couldn't I couldn't be a single parent to be left behind like I value relationships very greatly. And if somebody was to knock me up have, you know, and I have their baby and you just up and leave me, I, I couldn't. I mean, I, of course, I'd have to, you know, get myself together for my baby, but I couldn't do it. Like, that would be too heartbreaking for me. Like, I don't see how women do it every single day. Those young mothers out there raising the kids by themselves. That takes a whole lot of courage. A whole lot of courage. As much as I want a baby, shit. Boy, I ain't playing. But that's one more reason I wouldn't, you know. I just I just wouldn't want to be left alone. Like, it would have to be a decision I would have to make. You feel me? I couldn't be a woman because of the imagery. You know, what people think is beautiful, what people think is, isn't beautiful. Like, as a guy, you don't have to put up with that. Like, I've heard girls say, oh, yeah, if he ugly, I mean, he can still be cute as long as his swag is on point. Or, you know, if he has a great personality or he dresses nice or got money, they can overlook that. But with a girl, you can't do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Child, if you're ugly, you just, yikes. Not blessed in the face, get out my space, okay? <laughs> That's my saying, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but guys really think like that. They 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 come, they put these not so attractive girls. I'm, I'm sorry. They put these butterface girls in categories as smashing type or the friend type, and then you have your tomboyish girls who are hot as hell, like Black Chicago. I'm gonna call you Black Crisco, baby, because you. Smooth, baby. Smooth. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many types of women out there. You got the girly girls, and then you got the cross between tomboyish and girl that could pull both roles dramatically. Then you have the geeky girls, and then you got the ugly, um, like the uh, the ugly, bossy ghetto girls. Then you got the uppity, sadity girls who act like they don't know where they came from or forgot where they came from. There's so many different type of categories for, you know, both guys and girls. So, but to put myself, I think there are more categories for women than there is for men. Like I said, like, if you're an unattractive female, you know, you're just unattractive. You know, and then, then you would have to enhance yourself to become pretty to the, you know, to the media or to the public. Guys would get a haircut and throw on some slacks with a, with a button down and, Work out in the girl be like, oh, he fine. Like, he fine, but he's not cute. Well, same way with a girl, too. Now, I wish this could happen. It's probably going to be the first time you ever hear a guy say it, but I wish guys could get pregnant. I do. I do. I, ooh, I swear I wish guys could get pregnant. And when I say pregnant, I mean just, just, just get pregnant. You touch them. Oop, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Response first. I need to call Maury. Like, I really do wish. I want them to put up with the embarrassment. I want them to put up with the pain. I want them to put up with the decision, the ultimate decision of whether or not to keep the child or to give rid of the child. That is the most, that is the most. Undefi I, I, I can't even describe, I can't even think of a word 
that describes the feeling that or the, the thoughts that goes through these young women and women, I'm sorry, older women, women's head, period. Like what goes through their head? They're like, I'm gonna kill this child. Like you're taking a life. Whether or not, like if you get if you got raped, I understand the reasons, but it's still a life. You can adopt that life to somebody else. You feel me? You don't have to necessarily have to kill the child. Like I want guys to put up with, oh, so you wanna leave this girl for this for this one? Okay. Let's make you pregnant. Let you go through nine months. Of pregnancy alone with no one there, and let's see whether or not you're gonna be mad enough to keep the baby or get rid of the child. That's gonna be on your conscience. That's what's on these young women's consciences every day. No, I bet you there are so many murderers out there. And we wouldn't even know it. Like, I guess on these by angle, they've probably been pregnant beaucoup times, beaucoup times, and got abortions, and you wouldn't even know it. They're walking amongst us. So many unborn leaders, so many unborn teachers, so many unborn, so many unborn great figures because of what man has. I think man fucked that up. I'm sorry, excuse my French. Man messed that up because men are the ones that can actually let the seed out. You know, I'm not going to completely blame it on men because some women lay down there and let a guy go all up in them. I couldn't be a woman because once you go out there and have sex, you know, you're you're tainted. Like, I can be, like, see me, I can be a virgin all my life. I can be a virgin all my life. A woman can be a virgin all my life. Once she's been penetrated, child, you, you ain't a virgin. Unless you're born again. Unless you pour olive oil on your body. Dip yourself in holy water. The extra, extra virgin oil, by the way. And... The Savior himself come ascending, descending from the sky. May come from the sky. That's the only way you're going to be a born again own virgin child. And I, I guess I'll see you next lifetime. That's the only time you're going to become a virgin again. So you don't have to worry about the issue with guys. Um, but honestly, my number one, I wish a guy could get pregnant. I would, like, I would like to see what they would do if they were to become pregnant. You feel me? Like, these women have to put up with, will he stay with me? Will he help me? You know? And it, it's quite embarrassing. Like, you, they will go through the embarrassment like, oh, is, it, is this baby yours? Oh. It's like the men will be considered the whores and you know the sluts and stuff like that. I mean, men are sluts sometimes, but the roles would have been changed. Like the roles would have been changed, and um, the image of man will be greatly. It will be different. Like if roles were reversed, I was I was talking to a coworker at work, and um, I was like, what if there was a third sex? What if there's a third sex? You ever thought about that? Like, the sex would be whatever they, I don't want to say they grew to be because that's a hermaphrodite, but I don't know. It was weird. But we got into discussion like, what if there's a third sex? Like, you can be with two people. Yeah, you can be with two people. Like, you can, there's like, there are guys, there are girls, and then there's this, this sex that's just a person. They don't have genitals or. Uh, they could look like a girl and a boy, but you wouldn't really know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking of some crazy. Maybe I was high today. I don't know. Child, I was. Child, I work at Starbucks. We high every day. So, yeah. That's that's some reasons I couldn't be a woman. And some reasons, you know, I actually probably. I won't, hmm, child, I'm damn near there. You feel me? I, I'm flamboyant. Yikes. I've heard I'm a pretty guy. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's all in how you see things too, guys. I mean, and girls, you feel me? Like, there are a lot of reasons girls should, wouldn't want to be. I think more girls would want to be a man than guys would want to be a girl. Now, this is gonna be on the time you hear me saying this. You feel me? And they can do what they do. But I would want to be a girl just to get pregnant. 
because I really, I really want a child. And also, people say, wait in due time, you know, the Lord is going to bless you with one. Blase, blase, whatever. I want a baby now because I have so much love to give. And I feel like I want kids for the same reason my mom wanted kids, so that someone can love her unconditionally. But I know God loves me unconditionally. But I want to be able to take care of someone, you feel me? And not my nephew or not my niece. I want to take care of my own offspring. Because my, my biggest fear, like my biggest, biggest fear, which I will not share because some people try to use that against me and pray that against me. So I won't, dis I won't disclose that. But I want a baby so bad. I really do. I really do, but I, don't know. I get I get emotional, but I really do. Like, oh my god, I would love the hell out of my baby. Like, if I knew that somebody was carrying my baby, they wouldn't have to lay, they wouldn't have to raise a finger. You feel me? Not one finger. Child, I'll be the destiny's child to them. I'll be the, the baby face to them. Whatever you want, I, I got it. You dig? That is me all the way. Because I seen my mom had to go through through her eight pregnancies. Well, seven. Well, six. Well, five, because I seen five of my siblings been actually carried. So five of the pregnancies. And I and I seen when she looks. Whoa. My mirror just fell. That's weird. Oh, that's an omen. Hmm. Hmm. But um, I seen my mom had to go through the break, and it was it's a beautiful journey. It's a extremely it's a natural journey. Like it's amazing to see something so small, you know, grow up and stuff, and the little babies. Oh, hey, little man. Hey, little baby. Like I love babies. I love babies. Like I'm gonna stop talking about it before I start crying. But, yeah, that's why I'm going to be a woman. And Black Chicago, I want to thank you so much for doing this because it really made me think about you ladies on a personal level. Like, some of the things y'all would have to deal with on a daily basis. Like, how do I look? And, you know, will this guy like me if I give him some? Or if I don't give him some, will he push away? And it's just a lot of things that I know you ladies go through on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Will I be respected as a woman in the workplace or not? You know, do I have to be more sexy to make myself more noticeable in the business world as well as the public world, public's eye? Like, you ladies go through so much drama that it's ridiculous. I think men have the easy way out of everything. But that's enough about that. Um, yeah. So thank you so much. Um, big ups. Love you. You know I love you too, girl. So all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, oh my God. Y'all see my, my list is just going like this. It's getting up there. And I couldn't be more happy. I wish I had more California subscribers though. Anybody out there that's in California or you know somebody in California, you know, hit me up, man. Come on. Let's make this worldwide. You dig? <laughs> Gotta go. Quite a business.